Canberra Raiders coach David Ferner has put his players on notice after their disappointing loss to the Melbourne Storm on the weekend. The Raiders are now struggling to keep their finals chances alive, sitting two wins outside the top eight with only five matches to go. The Raiders' season has taken a plunge and there were some bruised bodies at a recovery session this morning after a tough encounter with the Storm. The Raiders were destroyed by a second-half onslaught in hostile Melbourne weather, which nearly washed away the side's finals hopes. And Melbourne did give us some opportunities, but we didn't, we didn't take it. So, yeah, that was it was disappointing. I did say that um, it was probably our worst second half uh, this year. But the Raiders aren't giving up on the finals, despite facing a tough run home. They'll take on the second-placed Penrith Panthers at Canberra Stadium next Monday, then face two more top eight teams. It's a challenge there that uh, for our team, if we're, if we're really going to give it a shake, we, we, we've, got to, um, we've got to beat those sides. Injured captain Alan Tung and fullback Josh Dugan could be back for the Panthers game, and the team hopes they'll lift the side to a surprise finals appearance. That's what everyone wants to play, and that's no different to our team. And you know, I think we're two games out of the eight now, but you know, I'm sure if we get you know, another three in a row and then you know, look forward then. But history is against the green machine. No team sitting four points outside the eight at this stage of the season has made the finals since the NRL adopted its current format in 1999. Ben Listen, ABC News, Canberra.